The bishop sat in lordly state and purple caps of lime and galvanised the old bush church at confirmation time. And all the kids were mustered up from 50 miles around with Sunday clothes and staring eyes and ignorance profound. Oh, was it fate or was it grace whereby they yarded to an overgrown two-storey lad from Tang Malang Galoo. A hefty son of virgin soil where nature has its fling and grows a trefoil three feet high and mats it in the spring where mighty hills lift up their heads to pierce the welkin's rim and trees sprout up a hundred feet before they shoot a limb. There everything is big and grand and men are giants too. But Christian knowledge wilts, alas, in Tang Malang Galoo. The bishop summed the youngsters up as bishops only can. He cast a searching eye around and fixed upon his man. But dumb and glum and undismayed through every bout he sat, he seemed to think that he was there but wasn't sure of that. The bishop gave a scornful look, as bishops sometimes do, and glared right through the pagan in from Tang Malang Galoo. Come tell me, boy, the bishop said in crushing tones severe, come tell me why is Christmas Day the greatest of the year? How is it that around the world we celebrate that day and send a name upon a card to those who are far away? Why is it wandering one's return with smiles and greetings too? A squall of knowledge hit the lad from Tang Malang Galoo. He gave a lurch which set a shake the vases on the shelf. He knocked the benches all askew up ending of himself and oh how pleased his lordship was and how he smiled to say that's good my boy now tell me do just what is Christmas Day? The ready answer bared a fact no bishop ever knew. It's the day before the races out at Tang Malang Galoo.